Hello friends, this video on life processes part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now start talking about respiration in animals. So let us start with the aquatic animals. How respiration happens in case of animals which live in water. So aquatic animals breathe in oxygen dissolved in water. So normally in case of plants, what did we see? That they utilize oxygen or carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere, right? But for aquatic animals, those who are living in water, they need to utilize oxygen. So the rate of breathing of aquatic animals is higher than the terrestrial ones. Can you guess why? Because terrestrial animals, that means the animals which live on land, for example, human beings. So we breathe in oxygen from air into our lungs. So we have these organs called lungs inside our body, which are used for absorption of oxygen. And moreover, the amount of oxygen which is present in air is more. Whereas the amount of oxygen which is present in water is comparatively lesser. Now, if the amount of oxygen which is present is lesser, so that means we will have to breathe very frequently to take in more and more oxygen. And that is why the rate of breathing of aquatic animals is higher than the terrestrial ones. So let us take the example of an aquatic animal like fish. So like human beings have lungs for absorption of oxygen. Similarly, fishes have gills to absorb the oxygen dissolved in water. So where do you have the gills in fishes? The gills are present somewhere here. So these gills are used for absorption of oxygen. So if you look at this picture, you can see how exactly the gills look like. If you would have ever seen it in real life, I'm not too sure. So if you look at this gill from this end, you can see that it consists of these kind of filament like structure. So what happens when you have this filament like structure? The absorption increases like how I told you before also that inside the small intestine we had villi like the small finger like projections why in order to increase the surface area so that the absorption increases so similarly similarly inside the gills also we have the gill filaments in order to increase the surface area so that the absorption of oxygen also increases let us now look at the respiration in terrestrial animals terrestrial animals use the oxygen in the atmosphere for respiration Specialized organs for oxygen absorption are present in many. For example, in human beings, we have lungs. Similarly, some different, organ or different organisms have different types of body structures and they have got specialized organs for oxygen absorption. Surface through which the gaseous exchange occurs is known as the respiratory surface. That means, for example, as I told that in human beings, we have lungs. So even inside lungs, there has to be a surface where exactly the exchange of gas is happening. So that surface is known as the respiratory surface. Now let us have uh, try to understand what kind of a respiratory surface is desirable. What are the characteristics that a respiratory surface should have to ensure better absorption? So some of the characteristics of the respiratory surfaces are it should be permeable to gases. That means it should allow the gases to pass through it because respiration is a lot about exchange of gases. It should be thin because if the surface is very thick, then the diffusion of the gases across that surface becomes little difficult. So if it is thin, it is more efficient for exchange of gases. Also for absorption of oxygen. The surface area should be large. For example, I gave you the example of gills, right? So for oxygen absorption, to ensure better oxygen absorption, the surface area of the surface should be large, right? Now, since exchange of gases takes place across this surface, so this place should be well protected. I mean, it, it is a delicate surface, right? Because at the ex actual exchange of gases is happening here. So this surface should be placed inside the body well protected. For example, our lungs. Are we able to see our lungs? It is not external, right? It is protected well inside our body. So it should be well inside the body and well protected. Now, again, for exchange of gases, this organ has to be in contact with air. As I said, that 
we are taking in oxygen which is present in the atmosphere. Now lungs are the organs which are used for absorption of oxygen. So that means lungs should be in contact with air but at the same time we say that since exchange of gases takes place through lungs, so lungs are delicate organs and they should be well protected inside the body. So that means even though this organ is present inside the body, a, a way should be made so that it is in contact with the external air. Right? So you will understand that how that way is done when we talk about the respiratory system in human beings. Therefore, a tube system is implemented to carry the air from the atmosphere to that particular organ. Right? So these are some of the features that a respiratory surface should have. So it should be thin, it should be permeable to gases, it should have a large surface area for better uh, oxygen absorption. Also, it should be placed inside, well protected. Right? Okay. So with this, let us look at some of the terrestrial animals and what kind of respiratory system do they have. So let us start with the simple organisms like amoeba, which is a unicellular organism. It's amoeba, paramecium. Hydra. So these are some of the lower animals. That means they are simpler animals. So these animals do not have any specific organ for respiration. So how does respiration take place? Respiration occurs through the body surface. That means the exchange of gases happens through the surface of their body. The surface of their body itself acts as the respiratory surface. Right. So they do not have any specialized organs. Whereas some other organisms like insects, they have a tracheal system. What is tracheal system? It is basically a system of tubes. So some tube like some air tubes are present inside the body of the system through which the respiration takes place. In case of amphibians, they again, they have lungs as well as their skin. Their skin acts as a medium for diffusion of gases. In case of human beings, we have lungs. So here we have lungs. In amphibians, we have lungs as well as skin. Now in all these, we do not have any specialized organs. Their body surface acts as the respiratory surface. Clear? So with this, I hope you got some idea about how respiration happens in animals. Even though I'm sure you are not completely clear about it, you will understand it clearly when I talk about the respiratory system in human beings. So that is Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.